Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I thought I would go through what I got in the Patty McGurgan Makeup Pro Store sale. I know that the sale ended like a couple of weeks ago, but um, it's been a while since I've made a video and I got some pretty nifty lipsticks there. So I thought that I would show you them and also go through some swatches and show you what they look like. So here I have my little goodie bag and these are all of the lipsticks that I got. I got six lipsticks and I spent about £35 in total. So the first two lipsticks that I got are the LA Splash Lip Couture um, Waterproof Lipstick in Summer Bliss. It's like a nice pink colour. I'll show you swatches in a second. And the second one is this metallic very sort of colour LA Slash Studio Shine lipstick in the shade Aurora and it is really really pretty. Okay and the next four I am really excited about. I didn't know that there was a shop that would actually sell Lime Crime itself let alone a shop in Belfast that sells Lime Crime so I almost died whenever I saw these. The first one I got is the Lime Crime Velvet Teens in the shade Xenon or Xenon. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it but it's basically like a shimmery gold. And then I got three of the Lime Crime Pearlies in the shades Penny, Beetle and Asphalt. So as you can see I did pick up some very strange colours and um, colours that you probably wouldn't wear every day except the two from LA Splash. Although I do think that these colours are really nice and quite unique so they would go really really well with just a plain eyeliner look um, if you don't really want to put a lot of effort in that day but you'd still look like you did put a lot of effort in if that makes sense I don't know I'll just go straight into the lip swatches okay so please excuse my really gross hair and my gross lips this is too close for comfort I'm going to start off the swatches with the first Lime Crime Pearlies in the shade Beetle this shade is a bit of a brown and green duochrome Okay, so that wasn't really the best application on my part, but as you can see, this is a bit of a brown and green um, duochrome lipstick. It definitely shifts green um, in the light, and it's not for everybody, I understand that, but I thought it was to die for, and I think it'd be really nice to make a wee, I think it'd be really nice paired with a simple eyeliner look to create like a kind of effortless grungy look for one of those days where you just can't be bothered to get up early to do your makeup. Okay, and now the next one that I am going to swatch is the Lime Crime Pearlies Asphalt. Um, this is quite a peculiar shade, it's like purple but it has flecks of blue and pink throughout. Okay, again, my application is god awful, but as you can see, it's kind of like a metallic, staged sort of colour. It has some brighter pink flecks and some blue flecks through it as well, and I just thought it was really, really unusual, and I had to add it to my collection. Mm, my lips are so chapped. Okay, and the last Lime Crime Pearly that I am going to be swatching is Penny. This is a nice coppery shade, so it's a little bit more down to earth than the other ones, but I think it's still quite unique and beautiful. So as you can see, all of the pearlies are very pigmented, they glide on with ease, they're very easy to apply and I really love how creamy they are, they don't really dry up your lips and I just love how shiny and metallic they are. I think Penny might be my favourite one, it's just the perfect warm metallic lipstick. Okay and now just to finish up the lipsticks that I got from Lime Crime, I'm gonna swatch the shade Xenon. So as you can see, it's um, it's not the most opaque lipstick. It would be more of a really nice topper over like a red lip or like a nice vampy lip to add a bit of no luster and uniqueness to it. But I do think that it is a lovely colour and it is very unique. Okay, and now onto the LA Splash. Last Splash? LA Splash. I don't know what the brand name is pronounced like, but I'm going to swatch Summer Bliss by Last Splash, LA Splash. Who knows?
Okay, so that is Summer Bliss. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about the formula of the lipstick. It is a beautiful colour, but it is, it applies matte. It doesn't apply liquid and then dry down matte. It applies completely matte, so it is quite dry and quite hard to apply. But it does actually feel nice on your lips despite being drying, which is quite unusual. I wouldn't have expected that from a lipstick that was dry on your lips. Normally, I find them very uncomfortable, but I could see this one as being somewhat wearable. Okay, so I literally just tried to take this off with a baby wipe and it will not budge. Like, it's still there. I mean, it's cracked a bit, but it just it won't come off. Like, it will not leave. I won't leave my lips. Taking this off has completely ruined my face. <sighs> okay, and the last lipstick that I'm going to swatch is from that last splash, LA Splash Place. I don't know how to pronounce it, um, and it is Aurora, and this is probably the one I'm most excited about trying. It completely lived up to my standards. It is a beautiful colour. It is slightly metallic and I don't know, I could see me wearing this like every day. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's haul slash um, first impressions video. I hope you liked the video. Comment your favourite one down below. I'd be really interested to see which one was everyone's favourite. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!